一位玩家的部队正遭到攻击。Fast expansion will be expected by Fortitude. Question is just when exactly? Could be an instant expansion. We've seen that before. Although that does sometimes feel a bit risky, as you're going to be stuck on level two for a very, very long time. I wonder if it might be a one base play as well. We've been seeing lots of humans lately play a rifle push one base. Only really on Turtle Rock. But on Turtle Rock, it does look really good. Demon here with a fast level 2. Archmage looking for Wisps right away. I like that. Good heads up play here by 40, not trying to give any easy experience away to the opponent. Oh, Wisp coming in now though, gets off one. Detonate. No? Yes? There it is. And the demon is in. It is immolation, no mana burn. Archmage got a circle here, that's pretty good. Quite good, in fact. This has been a remarkably peaceful early game so far for 40. He hasn't lost any peasants yet. I guess an immolation demon hunter, that's pretty outrageous, honestly. Nice steal here, though. The archers were distracting for a moment, so the demon took the merc camp away. I mean, the. Murloc camp away. And that means the AM is going to have a very tough time getting level 3 here. Archers threatening to come in, but also Footy's being split very nicely. I think Footy's is playing a strong early game here. And soon he'll be able to start his tech. Oh, that's it. Going around it. Demon got it. And gets the other. Double gauntlets, perhaps not the greatest for him. Health is good on the demon, but he's gonna need those slots later for something else. And so the tier 2 finally begins for 40. And calling the militia as well to creep this camp and try to get level 3. Excellent whisk scout here. Oh, when's the Tinker second? Alakaho. Demon Hunter Tinker. Later on, gonna go for a double tome of retraining, probably. No Arcane Tower in the main base, by the way. That is a bit scary. And the Tinker's gonna summon the factory right away, and he knows that a bunch of the peasants here are gonna be hurt. And the demon's also showing up. Alright. Now the peasants might start dying. There go one and two. But not more. Fortitude would love to get a shredder, maybe? Then again, I guess he's not gonna go tier three. Again, good defense by 40. Always across the map. If he gets the lower cancels here, that would be gigantic. But he's looking for a counter expansion. Which there isn't. Is he going to staff in? Demon could try to staff into the main with the help of a wisp or the pocket factory. But then he's going to be stuck. Staff home on the AM. 
Lots of mana on him. Of course, he didn't have to be concerned about mana burn this game. And look at the footies, man. They're always in the right spot. Love that Fortitude has two separate groups of footmen. Ready to defend both bases while the AM is out on the map. Really, really good game so far by 40. And now he's going to lock in the demon here as well. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just gets out. He had a telly stab, anyways. So tier 2 is finished. Second hero is the Blood Mage. That's where the Tinker is supposed to be the strong counter with cluster rockets later. A oh, couple of peasants here are going down. Lumber for 40 isn't looking too bad though, but he still has to make a tier 2 buildings. Sanctum. Double Sanctum normally. When he's playing a very disruptive game, harassing all the time. And he's still not expanding. It is just a tier 3 tech, which is pretty weird. Only you have to counter expand at some point. Staff home on the AM. Oh, that region scroll is going to be good, baby. Ooh, yeah. You know, I was trying to castle the heal. It's getting locked in here a little bit. But he does have the staff. So the Tinker got three kills with the Pocket Factory. That is something, I guess. But man, without an expansion, I think there's... There should be no chance for Moon. When Kao was playing this, he was using the Tinker to creep quick with the Pocket Factory. Get level 3, get level 4 fast, then retrain, and then have mass rockets later on to fight the human army. But he's still level 1 Tinker. I think this is looking absolutely terrible for me. Moon has to come up with uh, something very Moon special. Zeppelin, hit and run, economy damage, and get an expansion at some point. It looks like he's just going to try to go for a bear bust, which is normally not at all his playstyle. Oh, siphon. And a surround. Wait, is he dead? Demon is still surrounded. Uh-oh. Maybe he can fight his way out, though. The AM would have to block there. Oh, still blocked. Oh, damn. 40. With a huge kill. He's losing some units in exchange, but that he gladly takes. Oh, even goes for the Zeppelin. Saves the rifle. Well done. 40 is completely owning Moon so far. And Moon is playing kind of a weird game here. Oh, Siphon mana. No pocket factory anymore. The casters on the human side are very hurt here as well though. AM didn't spend much time giving them some more mana. Call to arms has to be used. This is the push for Moon. There's no expansion. This is it. Moon is trying to win with this push right here. Regroup is going to be great for him. Regen scroll and heal potion available on the human side. The bear front line is slowly dipping away. Dispel now against the Regroup. A little bit late maybe. Some great saves in there as well. Still holding on to the region scroll, by the way. Oh, and he might die a second time. Yep. There goes the demon. Second time around, and that's game. That is just simply GG. 
Fortitude doesn't know yet that there's no expansion. Counter expansion. But we do. This strat didn't seem very well prepared. This kind of looked like Moon was trying out the Tinker for the first time or one of the first times. We've seen this done way better before by Kaho. Kaho, by the way, who will be in the top eight. Top eight playoffs begin on Sunday. <laughs> Book of the Dead. Gonna be sold. Tinker finally level 3. But that's so late. And now, 40 has the big death ball army. Rifle, breaker, caster. Couple of heal scrolls. Tomb of retraining on the Archmage. And I mean, what can you say? It's a 30 supply lead. Two base versus one. It is looking extremely hopeless. Dude, even if Moon gets double level six, I don't know if you can win this game. And I tell you what. He is not a double level six. A little bit of blizzard as well. And yeah, there is literally zero chance here. Nice up micro. Ford is playing damn well today. This will be the third map win for him. On this Thursday. And there is the GG. That was insanely one-sided. What the hell? This was a perfect game for 40. Nothing went wrong. Everything was going his way. Moon didn't do any real damage and ever, really. At some point, the Pocket Factory killed three peasants. That was the highlight of the game for Moon. I'm kind of baffled that this was so one-sided and also pretty uneventful. Not much happened <laughs> that whole game. And especially for Moon to play this way. Moon is normally all about counter expanding, harass play, Zeppelin, hit and run, multitask. And he just went for a tier 3 timing attack with weak hero levels. Very strange. Very, very strange. Yeah, it seemed to me like he didn't know how to play the Tinker too well here in this matchup. And also the early game Demoner. Did almost nothing. I hope my Moon can find his footing for map 2, because otherwise this is going to be a very quick affair. Map number two is going to be Concealed Hill, where Moon can be aggressive against the expansion if he wants. Moon can also play a Keeper, perhaps, if he wants. I always felt like he was stronger with a Keeper, although right now it doesn't seem to be the strongest time for the Keeper of the Grove. Let's go into the game. Map number two.
And it is the keeper this time. I'm expecting much more from this keeper play. Especially if it's keeper hunts, which we see a good amount on this map. This could be a little momentum for Moon early on. Oh, my back hurts. Ah! I guess it's more like next to my shoulder blade. Ugh! I tweaked a muscle two days ago at the gym. Ugh, it's painful. Alright, Keeper starts off with the claws. That is very much to his liking. We've seen some humans lately not expand on this map, since it can be so difficult. But for 40, I would still expect a second base. Oh, AM shows up just to the last hits. Ooh, that's nice. Whispers here for the detonate. He dodges the double detonate. That's pretty good. Well, Watch what metal XP would be so nice to get, but good deny by 40 as well. This cost 40 a lot of mana though. Expanding is not going to be that easy. He's going to have to wait for nighttime. Get the dust probably. And the keeper does still get level 2 here. And with the entangle. I should get one footman, but footman honestly, not that bad to lose. Early game. Oh, and another nice deny. Look how much mana this is costing the keeper. He's gonna have to run back to the main to get mana back. Not quite a deny there. Very aggressive early game by 40. Willing to sacrifice footman to drain the keeper. And now we're in a difficult spot. Is he gonna run back and get mana to heal? Or is he gonna fight here? Harass without treants. Harass without treants seems to be the call. Wisp in position right away. Wakes up the creeps and get that nice the Archmage. Oh, beautiful Wisp. That was a beautiful Wisp. Keeper trying to get the last hit seal, doesn't quite get it. And of course got the dust. He's got one water elemental here ready to summon. Gets the last hit on the big boy. Pendant of energy. But a lot of peasants here are hurt. Keeper looking for more kills. He's getting a good number. He's probably gonna have to TP out here. Oh, yes he will. Kept all the archers alive though, very nicely. That one, gonna run on home. Okay. How many peasants died? Four peasants. That's kind of okay. Considering it's Concealed Hill. A quick bath at the fountain was enough to get 40 back into fighting shape. And Moon now with a counter expansion. Here we go. Now we're talking. There's a tome on the ground. Oh my lord. Pick it up. Pick it up. Nice movement from the keeper. He's gonna bypass the human army. Look for the Vulnerable peasants. Oh, and they're all so hurt. And there's a tome. Is he gonna grab it? Hell yeah. Gets the tome. Moral victory. At least one peasant should die here. Maybe two. Archer's coming from the side. Panda's also coming. Oh, they're all lined up. They're all lined up for the panda. Footy micro here a little bit off. Going for the treants. I think not the right target. Oh, and the tree is in the back! Beautiful harass by Moon. And he's gonna get the arcane. Oh my god, Breath of Fire again. Almost all the peasants are dead. They're all gonna die. Very, very well done. Deny on the archer as well, Moon is now flexing. Damn, there we go, there we go. That's the Moon we know. And love. 
counter expansion spotted. Or oh, if the aim was level 3, he might be able to cancel, but without level 3, I don't think he can. He's gonna go for the staff regardless. And try his luck. Counter staff from the teep uh, from the keeper. And the wisps are already here. Moon showing a much, much better performance on this second map. Mayhem does get level 3 though. Creeping in the green. What's enough? How did he not get that deny? That seemed impossible to miss. Nice purple fire. Almost level 3 keeper now. Just needs one little bit more of experience. 40. Can't start the tech now. Is he forgetting about it? No. Daytime. Which means no more moon juice region. We have 318 in the moon wells. Big deny. Oh, big deny. Level 3 prevented. And the aim gets the heal scroll as well. It could be grand for the footmen. But the footies can only really get involved if they have defend. Which right now they don't. It's being researched right now. But it does take a while. Same goes for creeping the expansion though. This could be a strong creep jack for 40. Macroing up behind it, getting tower, shop, lumber mill. Oh, moon caught between a rock and a hard place. He knows the footies are about to collapse on him, but the creeps are already attacking the tree of life here. I really like that he went for nature's blessing. Much needed in this kind of a position. And the footies come in. Defend is not yet ready, but he has to fight. And there's the heal scroll. Helps out the footman a lot right there. The spool against the water element, but one dryad died already. A bit unideal. Oh, and two footies took out the wisps, trying to go for the tree of life still. Oh, if the tree of life goes down, there would most likely be GG. Fragment though caught by the entangle. We'll have to TP shortly. Breath of fire almost brings him to his knees. Good game. Well played by both here. Well, he has to shop up. He can heal right away. And he will need to. Kind of leveling well. Oh! Wait, I think the tree stole the last hit. Unfortunate deny. A little bit less XP on the panda. Archmage. Oh my god, dude. How are you not healing yet? How are you not healing yet? What? That is so greedy. The keeper would have killed him right there. How are you not healing? Is he just dead? He might just be dead. Oh my god, 40, what was that? Cloak! He found a cloak! Are you kidding me? He's still dead though. What was that? 40! And all the footmen are gonna die. Okay, well that might just be GG. Yeah, that is not smart. <laughs> when you TP home, you need to heal right away and buy another region scroll. And that should be the opening that Moon was looking for here. An absolute massacre in the main base. Panda gonna be level 3 soon. The Dryads and Treants finding kills everywhere. That's exactly the way Moon wants to play it. Oh, does the Yun make it to the tavern? Yeah. I think a peasant or something was sent to the tavern footy. AM is finally back. And Moon now cruising to tier 3. Always a difficult time for the human in the game right here. Before the casters are out, before the dispel is there, when the numbers are still so low. And Moon 
guys a gigantic experience lead. Oh, one dry does go down, I guess. Oh, there are more up for grabs. Keep your staff in. Can he entangle? Oh, a little bit too late. Could have been the next kill. Very strong heroes for me in this game. And look how much 40 is slowed down, dude. He is still far away from having a competent army. 50 supply isn't really enough for rifle caster tier 2 human. You need like at least 60 supply to have a decent force. Fortitude is so, 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 so delayed on everything. Is about to clock in double level four. And I bought another staff. Oh, Moon's probably gonna go mass harass play. Harass the main, harass the expo, breath of fire, and treants. Hell yeah. And because there's no Stormbolt, there's no danger for him here. Can always, always step out. And there we go. Double level four now. TP gonna be needed just to deal with the harassing heroes. And they just walk away. Moon is playing this excellently. This is Moon's kind of game. Kind of a game. Keep her very active from the first minute of the game. Find kills early, make things as painful as possible for the opponent. Play the macro, two base game after. With a lot of hit and run. Forty's trying to stabilize with, stabilize with priests. But Moon has a 20 supply lead. Which is outrageous in this match. There we go, going to the fountain, putting this camp away from 40. Absolutely beautiful game, by 40. Moon with a pretty much perfect game here. And Fortitude with one huge mistake earlier on. After having a bit of a tough early as well. This is just sad, dude. Trying to creep the red camp with 50 supply takes forever. And 40 is gonna go for the expansion. Very easy to get the full surround there. We have triple heal scroll on 40, so I guess he was quite rich in the end. Perhaps not rich enough to save the expansion, though. There it goes. TP too late. And this game is over. All right, GG is called. Moon is our winner. Very different story compared to map number one. Moon finally shows what he's made of. There's a second series of the day for him that goes full distance. We will also see map three here, which is going to be Tight Hunters, by the way, which once again, I would be expecting a keeper. It just is Moon's hero. He's so good with keeper. Way, way better than with Demon. We're gonna get ready here. Map number two. 
most likely should lead to double expansion again, right? That is usually what we see on this map specifically. Human expanding first, Knight of Expanding after. Never Lost Temple. Yeah, Lost Temple we have seen actually a couple of times so far, but not too many. I wonder, what are the most played maps here? On Liquipedia, it is displayed. Concealed Hill 3. Echo Isles 5. That's a lot for Echo Isles. Hammerfall 4 times. Lost Temple twice. Already. Northern Isles 5. Ternus 4. Titaners 8. Titaners the most played by far. And Turtle Rock and Twisted. Yeah, I know we saw a happy game on LT. Happy versus 1 to 0. That wasn't close. And the other one... I cannot remember. Was it Flyvers Cow? No. Flyvers Starboard? Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember. That was uh, Fly Tier 3 Crazy Blade Master level 7 or something. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. Map number three. Let's decide this series. Let's jump into Tight Hunters. It is a keeper first again, as expected. Keeper very good on this map for creeping quickly to level two, pick up some items, get some kills, get to level three. Maybe even get boots and staff. And expand. Thank you very much. Deathwing with a resub. Said Moon, 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 Moon. And, and it's Jay also with the resub. Says hashtag Remo Moonwalk with flame boots on Rara24. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm definitely going to bring the flame boots. Baby. You better believe it. Raraland 2024 is happening on August 1st to 4th. It's going to be our highlight of the day once again of the year, I mean. For me, at least. For me, it certainly will be. Very excited for it. Wait, instant expansion by 40? Since when is that a thing? Normally humans always go orange into X mode. That means the AM is going to need one more kill to get level 2. Imperfect creep here for Moon. Normally you want to have the creeps pulled out so they don't use their spells. And the stream is lagging. Or did I disconnect? The stream is lagging. Damn, AM super aggressive here early on. Keep it guys level 2 first, double claws. Oh, baby. The creeps denied the last hit. He just wants one treant. All he wants is one treant. And he does get it. Keeper running across the map. He's looking for the enemy expansion. So 40 has to pull back the peasants. And now we're in a bit of a weird position. Because both cannot expand right now. Both playing aggressive. Three pairs of claws. Thank you, Helmud, with the resub. <laughs> Having footies in the main base here is pretty problematic, though. Keeper's gonna TP home to protect the main. That should also mean that the peasants can then expand. Or does it? Oh, not quite a deny here. Did the keeper right clicks are really strong here. Now the 
expansion is indeed on the way for both. No tech yet. Moon almost has the resources. But he has to be worried again about an attack coming his way. Two wests lost. Not ideal. But, well, happens sometimes, I guess. Still no dust, so it's hard to kill these archers. And the footies are dying much faster. Denies not perfectly on point here at the moment. Keeper got more experience, 2.5 now. Quite close to that level 3. Alright, 40. If he doesn't cancel the Tree of Life on the spot, that's bad news for him. But I guess he can't cancel. At least his own expansion finished. He is now mining from the natty. And he might be able to start the tech pretty damn soon. There's a lot of footmen going down though. Deny here. Oh, perfect deny there. That was a difficult one to get. Alright, 42 didn't get all the denies, but we had a few neat ones in there. And now the tech begins. Maybe like 40 seconds behind Moon. Somewhere around there. Oh, Militia are creeping the orange. I like that. If that's level 3, this is going to be very beneficial to the Archmage. It's going to be close. Well, Keeper was thinking about getting the boots as well, but didn't want to get surrounded. That is a lot of archers against the Arcane Tower. No repair. No repair. Oh, 40 asleep on the wheel. Repair way too late. He was distracted by the keeper who is now almost level 3. Archers should be able to get that for him pretty easily. Yep, one more. Peasant's gonna do it. He's gonna get a cancel on the Entangled, probably. But the keeper has level 2 treants ready. How much mana is there? Not too much. Oh no, he's level 2 Entangle. It's kind of surprising. I thought he would go Treants here, since there's no Arcane. But it's a lot of kills of the footies. Entangled. Delayed. For a long time. But it's a lot of kills going Moon's way. He might be level 4 pretty soon. As he keeps getting more kills here. Oh, two archers. Just barely make it back home. Oh, Keeper though. Might be dead. He has a Staff. Oh, or Entangled. That works. Oh, okay. Staff out, does survive, didn't have the boots, AM could have run him down. It's a lot of archers, by the way. Six archers. More than usual. But the expansion is still not quite mining. Many footies are very hurt. Fortitude can't really involve the footman right now. But the moon just is looking rough. 259 only. Daytime has just begun. Might not be a bad idea to go for a shop and a moonstone. Number of moonstones. Alchemist second. I always feel like this looks bad on human. But maybe today is the day where I get shown differently. Keeper close to level 4, but he's not there yet. And 40 is playing very aggressive. He's going for the Sanctums now. He just barely had enough lumber. I think the blacksmith's just finished. But he's got no rifles here yet. And for Moon, everything's hurt. More footmen are dying. Lots of footies died this game. Oh, that was a beauty of a heal scroll. Getting up all these archers, but some must still die. Not too many, though.
Forty two trying to utilize every single unit that he can. But now the drives are coming out. And the keeper got level four. That's a good level up as well. Fortitude has a lot of gold. But not much army right now. I'm going for the shredder. He had almost no lumber. Seems like the panda should be solo creeping this though, right? Okay, and he will. Panda's getting some good experience here. Oh, I am yoinks the items though. But the fire secures the kill. If Fortitude just goes for a normal tier 2 timing attack, I think he's gonna get demolished, right? Moon's got 4 3 hero levels. He's got bears already coming. He's gonna be up at 70 supply soon. He's even got Scourge Bone Chimes for the bears. Triple Serpent. 40. Wait, did he buy all these serpents? Yeah, he did. Okay. Let's grow the beast here. Not the best item. That one's going to be sold. Still so much gold for 40. Who only now made a shop, I guess. That's weird. 40 will now have the big army. Almost 70 supply for him. He's gonna need more farms. I would absolutely love to see tier 3. I'm a big fan of human tier 3. But 40 isn't, from what I know. And I think he's calling the boys and going for the push. Tom of retraining. Going for Blizzard. Keeper harassing the peasant at the expansion. Boyd is going to go for the Decider here. Oh, and Moon was creeping the red. He's, he took a lot of damage from this camp. And he gets the big item. Medallion is great for the Panda. Healing up with the Rejuve right after. AM doesn't have much mana, but he does have a bit of Blizzard. And that also works against repairing Wisps, by the way. Here comes the Staff. In oh my god, the position here is terrible for 40. And the expansion doesn't fall. Oh, this might be GG already. <laughs> TP home. Bad position. 40 is still not able to spend all of his gold. The farms being late, the production being late here seems to be a big problem. And Moon is looking better and better. Now, finally, production kicks in again for 40. Trying to get to the shop, but he's too late. Panda's there first, gets the heal scroll. And these heal scrolls are so important. 40 also doesn't have the levels. Breaker. Too far up front. That one also easily goes down. Seems like 40's making a lot of unnecessary mistakes here. Moon right now on a four game loss streak against 40, but it might break today. Yep, three two levels are just pretty damn weak at this point in the game. 40 doesn't even have a heal scroll. There's no way this can work. I think you should go tier three. Tier three, master training, maybe a third hero. Alchemist finally gets level 3. Weird position as we start the fight. 
blizzard not connecting too well. Also, the entangle is there to disrupt the blizzard. And the drunken haze brittle fire is doing some good work. That's the problem with alchemist second for human. It just seems like you have no damage up. Alchemist, by the way, is very hurt over here. Alk, he's not looking at him. Alchemist is dead. And Fortitude is botching this late game. Pretty impressively. Gonna have to call it. GG it is. Moon our winner in the end. And that with map 1 being a complete disaster to be honest. Map 2 and 3 with the Keeper. Much, much better played. Fortitude. I think sometimes still too stubborn.